A very good morning to all of you, teachers, students, and parents. I am Mr. Gunalan Rajagirudran, officer in the Education Department of PPD Manjo, and moderator for today's session. Before we start, I would like to thank all of you for joining us today for this YouTube live classroom, which is brought to you by Sudaroli Walayoli YouTube channel in collaboration with National Malaya Tamil School Teachers Union. Special thanks to the president of the union and it master of SJKT Bagan Sarai, Mr. R.P. Jayagobalan. And not forget the team who work hard for us behind the screen. Ms. Parimala Vadivelu, Education Officer from PPD Manjung. Ms. Pusparada Perumal, Head Mistress of SJKT Kampong Columbia. Dr. Tanesh Balakrishnan, ICT teacher from SJKT Ladang, Nova Scotia 1. And Ms. Sarala Krishnan, ICT teacher from SJKT Kampung Tun Sambantan. Allow me to introduce our speaker of today's session. He is Mr. Vinodanan Jagarajan. You can call him Mr. Vino, English teacher from SJKT Ladang Hantli, Pantai Remis, Era. He has been teaching English for nine years and had a great experience on teaching English for level two students. Today, he will be sharing with us about common errors and right techniques to answer UPSR English paper two. Today, he mainly focus on section A, which is information transfer, section B1 and B2, message or email writing. A few reminders for all the viewers are there, especially for the students. First, please use chat box to write positive comments. Second, use appropriate language. Third, use live chat area to ask questions about the session if you have any. Fourth, don't post unnecessary emojis or unwanted message because this distract others. If anyone against this, the admin will block you from the live chat. Hope all of you understand the rules and kindly subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for upcoming classes. End of this session, we will post a link in the chat box to get quiz through Google Form. For those get more than 80 marks, will get the e-certificate. Don't worry if you didn't get the 80 marks. You may try answer more than on time. Please register correct email address to get the certificate. It may take one week time to process the certificate. So don't worry, wait patiently. Without further ado, it's my pleasure to invite our speaker to start his sharing session. Mr. Vino, I pass this session to you you may start now. Vanakam, and good morning teachers and students. Hi, how are you? I hope all of you are fine. During this MCO period, I hope all of you are staying home. Therefore, I would like to take this opportunity to teach and give you some tips on answering paper two questions. I know that there is no UPSR exam for this year, but year four and year five students can gain more knowledge on the section that I will going to teach you now. I hope all the students be ready with your pen and pencil. Okay, now, first, we are moving to the first plot, first slide. Okay, there are three sections in paper two. Section A, Section B1, Section B2, and Section C. Okay, now, what is Section A? Section A is information transfer. Section B1 is list three things. Section B2 is, is a writing, email, message, notes, memo, and so on. Section C is note expansion. Now, we 
we see about the marks awarded for each section. For section A, there will be a 10 marks awarded for section A, 5 questions, that means each question is 2 marks. For section B, 3 marks. Section B2, 12 marks. Section C, 25 marks. So the total marks will be 50 marks. When times with 2, it's total marks 100 marks. Each mark will be times by 2. Okay. Now, it's B1 and section A is a, uh, we can say as a very uh, bonus mark because it's a very easy to answer the questions. Now, we go to the section A, information transfer. Okay. Before you start information transfer, I see many students, when they do the information transfer section, they just copy the answers straight from the text or posters given to the blank. As a first step, you should read the blank text given. First step, read the blank text given. Okay, now we see what are the steps involved when you answer the information transfer activity. Look at the text and find the information you need to complete the text. Look at the text and find the information you need to complete the text. Look for keywords. Look for keywords. Refer to the answers given as examples to follow. Transfer the information to the blank in the text. Check your spelling, grammar, and punctuation. Write neatly and clearly. For the first step, look at the text and find the information you need to complete the text. That means uh, you must uh, locate where is the answer is about. First, read the blank text and then underline the keywords. And then locate the answer first. Do not answer it. Transfer the information into the blank and then Re, rewrite the answer from the poster and then see whether your answer is correct or not. Then by the students. Punctuation is another mistake made by the students. Write neatly and clearly. Write neatly. That means your handwriting must be clear. Do not write for the capital W and the small w. The students make many errors. They still do not know how to write the letter W, capital W and the small w. And also, sometimes they write E as an A. So we move to, the, move to the next slide. Okay, steps in answering information transfer activity. First, pupils must read through the text given with the blanks. Pupils must get an idea. What is the text mainly about? If there is a poster, bookshop, the text mainly about the books in the bookstore. If there is a poster about competition, the text mainly about the competition. Then, people must read through the poster and advertisement given. When answer the questions, people must recheck their answer twice. I say twice because some of the students may miss out because of their nervous when answering the question. When they get nervous, they will miss some letters, miss the spelling. Check the spelling, check the capital letters. Sometimes we have to add some word in front of the answers. For an example, on, they will, in the poster, there will be not the word on we, we, we can say as an exponent the word on in all is an exponent so we must add the words in front of the text to complete answer if not we will not get the full marks okay now we get to another slide next slide okay useful tips okay these useful tips is for your uh, the if you are answering the information transfer activity in the poster. That means uh, the poster, 
they state there about their venue, place, and the time. So this type of the information transfer activity. So when you answer the questions, when you see the keywords at on log on and contact, you will answer the tips I given. For example, if there is a question, the competition held at so at then blank then must so the answer should be place or time place or time but the competition will be held at school hall for an example the competition will be held at school hall so at must be the place if you see the word on it must be day or date for an example the event is on date 11th may 2020 or the event is on monday so on refers to the day or date if you see the word log on log on must be a website you can see you can uh, see the example for an example for further details you can log on to www dot edu dot com for an example for further details you can log on log on means you can log on to the website okay last one is a contact if there is a text contact or call must be a phone number or email for an example you can contact the teacher in charge via mobile number zero one nine four eight eight one nine zero six for an example, you can contact the teacher in charge via mobile number 019-488-1906. Don't call to this number because this is my number. So, the, so we move to the next slide. Huh? Okay, common errors. Common errors in the information transfer activity. The first common error did by the student is they just copy the answer without checking the spelling. For example, from 9 a.m. dash 10 a.m. They straight away write, copy the answer 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. into the answer sheet. But the correct answer should be 9 a.m. dash replace with the word 2. 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. So, this is the 80% of students making this type of errors. Second thing is copy the wrong answer for the wrong place. That means even though they already put the number in the answers in the poster or the text given, they misplace the answer. For the second question, they put the answer in the third question. For the third question, they put the answer in the second question. That's why we ask you to uh, recheck again your answers and revise your answers. Misplaced the answer is the second error did by the student. The third error did, it, did by student is capitalize all the words or we can say all the words in a capital letter. Even though if there's a poster on bookstore, when we stay, say about the book sale of bookstore, the name of the bookstore may be in a capital letter in a poster or the text given. But when you write the answer, you should remember the capital letters must be the in front of each word. For an example, Chew Bookstore, Chew Bookstore, all are in a capital letter in a poster. But when you answer, you must write C, capital letter, B, capital letter, and S should be your capital letter. Missing letters and words. Missing letters and words. Sometimes when you write quickly, your answer, maybe it's happened. You missed out a letter or the words. Missing letters and words is the common error. Common error did by the student. For an example, carrots and tomatoes 
so what is missing in the word tomato so the missing letter is e tomatoes they missed out the word tomato so therefore will you will get you will not get the full marks for this answer the next thing is miss add on some word for an example potato carrot tomato when they are doing uh, for an example they are doing a, a mixture or fruit salad they will put potato carrot tomato so when it comes to the answer you you must add the word and conjunction into the answer so the correct answer should be potato carrot and so before and don't put comma if you put comma the, the answer will not get full marks so this type of mistake students must train themselves when doing a uh, information run for activity to put the conjunctions there okay so next we move to the next slides okay this is the one of the example of the information transfer activity okay now we read the questions huh? type study the timetable below and use the information to complete the passage okay the time a quarter past three three fifteen we say as a quarter past three three thirty half past three three thirty we say as a half past three 3.45, we say as a, a quarter to four, a quarter to four. How smart Sue spent her time yesterday. This is the Sue timetable. Okay. Now, quarter to eight, 7.45 a.m., eight breakfast. Half past four, 4.30 p.m., practice playing the piano. Quarter past five five fifteen p.m. Play badminton. Quarter to nine eight forty five p.m. Read some magazines. Nine p.m. Went to bed. Okay. Now before I start to read the text, I should read the blanks given. Okay. Now you see, eh? Smart Sue spent her time wisely yesterday. So it's mainly about her timetable. At a quarter to eight, she ate her. Okay, you know that quarter to eight underline the word quarter to eight, and then uh, you know it's time. At this time, what she do? She ate her. She ate her. So the answer should be she ate her breakfast. But some students they will put. She ate her ate breakfast. So there is a word repetition ate there. So they will they will not get the full mark for this answer. So eight is already given there. So you should be aware of your answers. So eight is already there. So you should write breakfast. At half past four, that means after half past four, after four, four thirty. Okay, she what she do practice playing the piano practice playing the piano so they already give you full stop so you no need to put full stop huh? okay at you don't know the time she played badminton with a friend what time she play badminton at what time at 5 15 pm 5 15 pm at quarter past 5 quarter past five two answers can be accepted at 5 15 pm or quarter past five so pm p dot m dot so you must be aware with your punctuation should be aware with your punctuation okay now she play badminton with her friend she what she do she she Okay, now uh, okay, she she at a quarter to nine. At a quarter to nine, nine is a uh, eight forty-five p.m. Okay, 
she what she do she read some magazines she read some magazines at a quarter to nine at nine o'clock she what she do at nine o'clock she went to bed okay now we should see the next uh, next is a uh, is another one uh, uh information transfer activity maybe there's a blur a bit uh, words there sorry to say but it's okay uh this is the type of the information transfer activity but remember for ups students they won't give you easiest one they won't give you such a this type of the example because there will be non linear text and the poster and the text so uh, there's a discussion between among uh, their friends about the poster they uh discuss about the book sale it's just like that okay now we go to the next slide this is another type of the information transfer activity okay now we move to the section b1 okay section b1 is just like for you uh, bonus marks it will be a very easiest task and uh, almost 80% of the students will get full marks in this section but remember there also will be a trick in this section people must list three answer from the text given okay people must list three answer that means the answer can be different type type of the question list three maybe list three activities list three sports list three steps list three ways list three benefits list three courses list three methods list three tools list three utensils list three shoes list three facilities list three places okay this is a bonus question huh? this is bonus question okay now you not now i'm going to tell you about list three activities okay list three activities from the picture from the text will be given list three activities so you may list down any activities is given okay or uh, sports sports is for example basketball soccer and uh, netball and then uh, volleyball is a type of the sports and then steps steps maybe when you uh, write about the you want to do uh, orange juice so you may write about the steps first uh, peel the skin of the orange and then uh, uh, slice the orange is a steps and then ways ways is like a prevention for this time this time is a mco period covid time so for now what you should do you should uh, stay at home the ways are stay at home wash your hands frequently and then do not uh, touch it each, uh, each other keep distance with each other uh, wear mask on your face is a waste okay now we go to the benefits benefits are the goods the goods when you do something okay what are the benefits uh, eating vegetables so you can get the lot of vitamins uh, you can uh, be healthy so there are benefits okay now causes causes is a uh, what uh, are the causes uh, what we say in malay we say the puncha 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 so causes will be what are the causes of the pollution so the smoke from the car smoke from the factories uh, open burning is a causes is a causes okay is causes for the pollution okay now the next is the methods methods are uh, the things when you do something uh, you use the methods what are the method you are using for uh, getting a high mark in exams so your method is uh, revise your lesson every day and then uh, do a study group is a method okay tools tools are the things for the example is a uh, pencils uh, scissors glue is a tool okay another one is tools like hammer okay and then utensils utensils is a uh, something like uh, cooking things okay now uh, next is a tv shows tv shows so you know about the tv shows okay facilities ha ah, this is very important facilities okay when you go to the hotels 
or any play facilities facilities are the kemudahan awam so facilities they provide in a hotel is a wifi air conditioned room free parking and the spacious room okay so all in the facilities and then list three places okay these places are uh, when you see the from 2016 until now list three places you enjoy to visit uh, this question is already target for many years it will, it will will not out for the exam places uh, what are the places you visit okay list three places that you enjoy visit so we will tell panko pola antavi and all that but depend on your text given if the places are stated there okay you can list that okay sometimes it can be hot space then it can be hot space then just like uh, last year last year or previous year 2018 or 2018 okay if they say okay list down three news channels okay list down news channels okay cartoon is not a news channel cartoon is not a news channel documentary It's not a news channel. So news channels doesn't mean. So there, there should be a news channel. It's a Burnama news, or Tamil news, Chinese news, okay, CNN news. Okay, it's a news channel. Okay, but you should write news channels only, not the shows in the TV programs that given. So you should be aware of some hot questions. Okay, list down three outdoor activities. There will be also the indoor activities, something like a uh, badminton. Um, sometimes volleyball also can be uh, indoor activity. Uh, badminton, uh, gymnast, all is a uh, indoor activity. So in your answer, you should not give list down the indoor activities because the questions they are asking is list down three outdoor activities. Okay. Uh, the third question list three things made of wood okay sometimes there's a uh, things made of steel made of plastic so you should identify which one is made of wood so this one is under hot higher order thinking skill so you should be aware of the question not all the answers is below of the text not all the answers on the left hand side of the text So you should read the need of the questions. Okay, this is a sample question. Okay, study the map about Taman Rangit Jaya and answer the following question in the space provided. Okay, list three buildings. Okay, when you see the buildings, it must be for example, school is a building. Uh, not everything in the picture is a building. Okay, huh? okay now. list three buildings you see along jalan kurau list three buildings you will see along jalan kurau one okay jalan kurau one is here is uh, along the green forest station center is at jalan kurau satu so you know jalan kurau one jalan kurau two jalan kurau three there's a three jalan there three there So you should be aware. Jalan Kurau One, Pau's P N S Mall, Dolphin Supermarket, and Green Forest Fusion Center. That only your buildings you saw. Not a playground. Not a petrol station. Don't write petrol station and playground. I see many students uh, wrongly put their answers. They put playground and the petrol station. Okay. For the next list, three things. you will enjoy when you join the family fitness program okay what are the things you will enjoy that means uh, family fitness program join our program for 6 weeks uh, one and a half hour every week to exercise and to have fun together and be healthy and happy family okay what are the benefit okay did this is the thing i said benefit okay huh? okay learn how to exercise and stay fit learn healthy eating habits during the program the experience instructor will help you to get your ideal weight okay learn to eat well read and understand food labels get help setting your goals 
get healthy cooking tips learn to shop for groceries okay list three things you will enjoy what you are enjoy so you can tell anything from this text not copy join our program is not enjoying what you enjoy learn how to exercise it's the first answer learn healthy eating second answer learn to eat well okay it you will be enjoy what you are enjoying get help setting your goals okay you are enjoy enjoy doing exercise enjoy singing where is it no and not enjoy singing learn to shop for gross groceries is a uh, the things you will enjoy so mainly sometimes the answers will be given below of the text but not uh, we say uh, it it would be uh, every time there will be answer in the below but because you should read and tackle the question okay this is the third one huh? list any three activities okay list three activities okay this is only four activities given so you you got only four options you want to answer this type of questions okay okay now now we go to the next section section b2 ah this section you will get uh, 12 marks for this section this section is uh, based on your writing based on your writing there's a many type of writing in this section not only email not only message not only diary there's a many Okay, there are many type of writing in these sections. Uh, you need to write email. You need to write message. You need to write diary. You need to write memo, postcard, letter, and announcement. Okay, I, if email, okay, I know that uh, many students uh, we should sir, what 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 is the email? My own email or Gmail or my friend's email? I don't know the friend's email. When the person out in exam, okay, uh, you should write an email to a friend. Or they get excited, they get excited, and they write, okay, they write the email. What is the email address? Darbar at gmail dot com. They will write the answer, uh, Darbar at gmail dot com. So be aware, the email address and all will be given to you in your exam. The email address all will be given to you. The students will be excited when they write the email because. They are writing the email to your their friend. They said, "Hi, how are you? I hope you are fine. I would like to tell you. Uh, I hope you are in the pink of health." But remember, the focus is mainly about your question. What the question needed. So the focus is mainly on your content. Content what you are writing. Okay. There are many type of writing uh, in these sections: so email, message, diary. memo postcard letter and announcement okay what are the questions needed okay you should be aware of that okay don't write the email ah huh? uh, every time uh, hi how are you how are you you are in a pink of health and then write about what you are eating now and uh, what your mother cooking at home where you go all day in one paragraph and then uh, nothing is there that means uh, the question is asking for Okay, uh, you are going for a vacation. Uh, okay, tell your friend about your vacation. But in this email, you're not telling about that. You are telling about or uh, any uh, talking uh, about yourself and your friend about what is your mother's cooking, what is your what is your hobby, all that. But the question needed is list three places that you went for the. vacation okay now we go to the next slide okay steps or methods choose one or two options sometimes the the questions will ask you to write one sometimes the questions will you ask to you to write three okay choose one or two option from the choices given there is no right or wrong choice that means uh, uh remember that uh, your choice is not to say not comply with your friend Okay, I write about the, for an example, the pet, rabbit, cat, and dog. You write about dog, but your friend write about cat. Don't compare your answer with your friend answer. It's your choice. You are choosing the dog. Why you are choosing the dog? What what is the reason for your choice? So you must write about that. You must try to give good.
good reason for your making your choice okay you must good reason okay what are the reasons the reasons must be logic positive so you are telling about uh, i choose the dog because of what uh, i choose the dog because i like to kick the dog this is a negative statement so you should write in a positive statement you can use the information from the table to help you list out reasons for your choice okay you can you can use the information given on the text uh, sometimes uh, if you want to easiest way sometimes the notes in the text that are, they are providing there's a the, there will be a, uh, less notes in your text so you go to the section b1 sometimes the b1 got a lot of notes for the section b2 there will be a less notes so you can refer to b1 okay you do not have to make a comparison with the other items just now i said that uh, you choose cat and your friend choose dog don't compare you stick on your choice why you choose the dog you tell about dog list down the points and reasons okay list down why you are telling that uh, your choice is a better choice than others okay, use adjective to make description more interesting sometimes you can use adjective sometimes you can use proverbs but remember do not use every time every sentence is proverbs but there's no meaning just uh, uh, you're telling about the, the dog okay the dog the dog is a piece of cake is there's no connectivity between proverbs is the dog is a piece of cake how can be the dog piece of cake so you should write the proof is related to the text you are writing but i suggest you do not write a lot of proverbs write uh, one or two enough but i encourage you to write a lot but remember with aware with your words would come because uh, the this for this section the word limit is 50 to 80 words only so for that purpose you should do not write beyond uh, 80 words 80 words but sometimes 80 to 90 words is we will be accepted but not a lot don't write 150 words huh? some students will write 150 words okay how to write your reason if you are choosing about your place when you are telling about the place how to write how to how to write your reasons okay i can go there easily if your place you're choosing okay panko i like to go to panko why you are like to go to panko i would like to go to panko because i can go there easily it is near my house I can go there at any time. Okay, this is a tips. Huh? These tips I given to you. If you are choosing the place, you can use this type of the reasons. It is a nice place. It is a beautiful place. Okay, these are the reasons that you may use when you write about a uh, place. Okay, you want to go to the place. Okay, you can choose this type of the reasons. Actually, I took it from the internet. It's not my own opinion. I, I share other other teachers' uh, notes here. Okay, the next one is the society. When you choose the society, okay, this will be uh, three types of society: English society, Malay society, and the uh, uh, Tamil society. Okay, what you, society you want to choose? Okay, you choose English society. Why you choose English society? Because it is very enjoyable. It is very useful as a lot of benefit. I can gain more knowledge. When you write about society, it's very enjoyable and interesting activities enough. When you write the email, when you write about the, your choices, you should write one choice. You should make your choice and then give your reason. You just write about your choice only, you will get less marks. But when you write about the choice and you must write explanation why you choose the choice okay i can gain more knowledge i can improve my vocabulary i can widen my knowledge i shall be more confident of myself okay these are the things when you choose the society when you choose the society okay now now we go to the okay this is also the about the society eh? i can get a lot of new friends i can do something beneficial 
during my free time i shall be able to know more about new things it gives me pleasant feeling it teaches me to be independent independent ah huh? confident and my parents always encourage me okay this is the things we get when you join the society okay price fee rent okay when you choose the one things okay uh well there's a laptop uh watch and the uh playstation okay which one you are going to buy okay i going to buy playstation because it is reasonable and affordable don't uh, don't uh, think that oh playstation is not good for education or oh, then uh, it's not not like that if you choose the playstation but you write the correct reason that means it's okay it's i can uh, you can get a good mark for your reason okay if there is a price you can tell about the price it is reasonable and affordable i can save money for other expenses it is a reasonable price and i think i can afford it that means uh, you can afford to buy it's worth buying this is a very good reason it's worth buying the price is low and reasonable i can afford to pay for it it is cheaper than others okay this is the things uh, this is the type of the reason when you choose the price when the text given is about the price so you can tell about the price you can use this type of the reason okay free gift okay free gift free gift discount offer souvenir souvenir is a uh, just like a gift you want to buy okay it is an attractive offer i can save my pocket money i do not have to buy it anymore as i have one at home that means uh, this this item i do not want to buy because i already have had it at the home okay i don't have to spend more more, more to buy for it i don't have more to buy for it okay next okay food when you choose the food you may tell this reason it is delicious and appetizing it is delicious and appetizing it is nutritious and uh, tasty and appetizing it is my favorite food drink it is good for my health okay you may tell uh, if you choose the food and drink you may tell okay this is the food i choose why i choose this food because this food is very interesting okay it good for my health okay and then transport when you choose the transport it is very comfortable it's convenient i can relax myself during the journey it is an economical way of traveling it is suitable for a long journey it is fast and won't feel bored i can enjoy watching the beautiful scenery okay this the last sentence i can enjoy watching the beautiful scenery and along the journey this is a very interesting uh, reason you can enjoy watching beautiful scenery Uh, if can a student can be memorize some of the text given i can relax myself during the journey uh, it is a uh, comfortable okay we move to the next the facility why were the facilities i said just now is a facility that provided at the hotel it's just like wifi the air condition room free parking so you can tell why why you are enjoying the facilities given i can enjoy them i can use them it is so comfortable and convenient okay next okay date time and duration okay why you choose the date because i choose the date because i am free that time it takes a shorter longer time to finish i would not feel bored that means you are not feeling bored uh, the time is enough for me to spend there okay next color why you choose the color because it is beautiful attractive and eye catching it is my favorite color why are you choosing the blue color because it's my favorite color it suits me and i like the blue sky blue sea and all that okay it is the latest fashion okay occupation why you choose the, to be a teacher okay i can earn money for living it teaches me to be responsible independent <coughs> i will commit to my job i can support my family 
okay, there is the reason why you choose the occupation. Sometimes you can uh, add on your this reason. Uh, my father is a teacher, so I become a. Uh, I want to become a teacher because my father is my role model. Anything like that. For my son, we he will tell like that because he's using the occupation. He choose teacher. Then he will tell because of my father, I will be an English teacher. Okay, pen pal. We can exchange ideas. Pen pal, we can exchange ideas. Pen pal is a friend, ah, huh? friend from the another country, not from your next taman, ah, huh? not from your next taman. Pen pal is a other country. They want to learn about your culture, so we can exchange ideas. We can share the same hobby, ideas and interests. I can learn many new things from her because ah, uh, you can learn about Japan, ah. Uh, Japanese, okay. If you say Japanese, you can learn about his culture, his dress, his song. I shall be able to know more about his or country. I I have a chance to visit him. Okay, if you choose the pet, why are you choosing the pet? Because it is cute. It is easy to look after, to take care, to manage. It is easy to feed. If you see, if I am writing the about the pet, I will write about it is cute. And the second thing, I can play with it. It is easy to feed. It can be a great company to me. It can help to look after the house. Material. It is cool and comfortable. It is long lasting. It is worth to buy it. I can wear it for a long time. Okay, this is the last thing you write when you choose anything. But uh, it not necessary you write uh, this sentence. So when you write the email uh, message or anything, ah, uh, they just focus on the content. But this one is a uh, for additional one. Finally, I am sure. I have made the best choice. Definitely, my choice is right. I hope my father, my mother, brother, sister, friend will like my choice and appreciate it. Okay, this is the last sentence, last thing you want to tell. I I made a good choice. Uh, this sentence, when you not write about this sentence, okay, you want to tell about. Okay, I like the pet because this is okay. I like the pet because the dog has a fluffy fur. Uh, it is a black color. Uh, It I I can easily fit it and then uh, finally you missed out the word finally it's okay now mind this is the additional one you want to write additional okay now your parents want to buy a house which house would you like your parents to buy okay this is the three types of house you want to buy the first is a single story semi detached house second is a condominium third one is a double story linked house now also is a You are thinking, okay, which house you want to choose? Okay, for for your opinion, which house is for you? For your okay, condominium. Okay, you want to write about condominium. So condominium, you want to write about a bathroom attached to each bedroom, one to three bedroom, one to two car parks, walking distance to the shop, three hundred thousand one words. Okay, this is the things there. But you want to write uh, beyond that. Ah, uh, is uh, from early, early, from the small. I thinking about uh, this house. This is my uh, dream house. So you can add on. It's okay because you are making choice, not referring to the text. You want to additional. You want to add add on some things that you are thinking uh, beyond this text. It's okay. Okay, now we see how you want to answer this type of questions. Ah, huh? okay. This is one of the table table you can use for your reasons. Write down your points and reasons, then write the complete sentences. Okay. Now you see introduction. Okay, for email, uh, you you are telling that you are focusing on the format, but the format is already there. They're starting with I would like my parents. Okay, the starting word will be given. I would like my parents to buy a single story semi detached house. Why? So every time when you are answering this type of question, uh, try to create a questions among yourself. 
try to create uh, some questions related to the text. Uh, why? Every time when you writing, you asking in yourself that uh, why? Why you are choosing this? I would like my parents to buy single story semi detached house because there are enough room for us. There are enough room for us. I would like my parents to buy a single story detached house because there are enough room for us. This is the first reason. Second, the house has three bedrooms and it is suitable because there are only three members in my family. Okay, there are three bedrooms. That means three bedrooms for three, three members for you and your two sisters. Okay. The house has three bedrooms and it is suitable because there are only three members in my family. Okay, that's a good reason. Okay. The third reason, it has two bathrooms, but it doesn't matter because of my parents can only can use one and I can use the other bedroom. In addition, it has two bathrooms, two bathrooms, but it doesn't matter because, because my parents can use one and I can use another. Oh, it can be a uh, good reason also. There's a two bathroom, one your parents using and you are using another one. It's okay, but you are... Uh, oh, otherwise, you can uh, write a simple, simple sentence also can be accepted. Uh, for an example, I like this type of house because the rooms are spacious, the rooms are very beautiful, the rooms are uh, occupied with the tiles, okay. It has small garden and I'm sure my mother would love it, okay. This is another reason because she likes gardening. Besides, Okay, these are the linkers that uh, they use for the connecting the sentences. This is a complete sentence. Besides, it has small garden and I am sure my mother would love it because she likes gardening. Okay, these are the linkers. Huh? Sometimes in Malay we call it Sapananda Vachana. It's something itu, ole itu, and then uh, Antaranya, it's all that. Uh, it's just like the linkers. Okay, the point four, I can cycle with my friends to school. Why? Well, because the house is only a few minutes, so you can cycle, you can uh, just walk to school. Okay, this is the reasons they are giving. So you can use this type of the table to practice yourself. Okay, first one, point, reason, complete sentence. Point, reason, complete sentence. So you can use this table to fill up your answer. Actually, I found this table from the internet. Okay, thank you. Next, uh, next is the simple uh, questions. Your family would like to go for a holiday. Which destination would you like for your family to go? It's a Sapilo jungle hotel, Sandakan, comfortable for twin beds, uh, private balcony with a forest view, buffet breakfast, uh, free shuttle to airport and town, free RM300 per night. Okay, Tanjong Aru Beach Resort. Saba, luxurious king size bed, beach prawn, uh, sunset view, local breakfast, free boat rides to surrounding uh, island. It's a 250 per night. That means uh, these three choices, okay, which one you prefer? If I, I will choose Tanjong Aru Beach Resort. Okay, my reason is beyond this tech. I like uh, Tanjong Aru Beach Resort because I want to enjoy the beautiful scenery. I want to see the sunrise. Sunset, okay. I want to play in the sand. I want to play in the water. Okay, the water is crystal clear. So you want to put some proverbs there. The water is crystal clear. And then, uh, uh, okay, any proverbs related to the this text, you can use. Okay, now we go to the table. Okay, I would like my family go to where? Tanjong Aru Beach. Because the reason. The reason, because of what? I want to play in the water. I like scuba diving. I want to enjoy it. So you reasons are huh? just the uh, reasons is your choice. You want to write a lot. It's okay, but be aware with your word count. Be aware with your word count. Remember, there are only fifty to eighty words only. So uh, you just be aware with your word count, and then uh, do not put a lot of proverb that related not related to the text. Uh, I want to like to swim in the beach because it's a piece of cake. So you cannot tell about piece, piece of cake is very easy. 
so don't uh, put a lot of uh, a lot of proverbs that not related to the tech okay okay these are the third uh, example you would like to have a pet which would you ask your parents to buy okay you can you maybe you want to buy the rabbit you can buy the goldfish you can write about the chickens so chicks you can uh, write the reasons there i would like to buy rabbit because it feeds on nuts and vegetables it live in the cage we can clean the cage every day okay it's easy so you want to tell okay this is the table i would, i would like to have rabbit as a pet because what is the reason why you are having uh, a rabbit as a pet so you can tell about the reason okay this is another type of the uh, email writing but this one is uh, not a choice it's about diary you you have to write about some things there so not to say you have to write law all the activities but you choose okay adira inani and her friends are on the day trip to nia cape miri this is the itinerary for their on day trip okay 7 am they leave the home stay in nia 7:45 drive to the nia cape eat breakfast buy pack food and drinks and then 10 hike to nia cape bird watching enjoy flora and fauna 12:30 arrive okay this all huh? okay your friend wants to visit the nia cape write an email telling about at least three interesting activities so you may choose which activity you want to choose okay hike to nia cape uh, explore the cave take photograph so you you may write any activity to give the reason okay that's all for today thank you okay i almost finished my section for b2 but uh, remember this okay the email writing and uh, message writing about memo about uh, uh, announcement so there's a lot of the things you have to write maybe on uh, my next section i will teach you about the announcement and uh, uh, memo and all that thank you okay thank you so much for the wonderful sharing tips and technique uh, with us mr vino hi students i'll come back again so hope it's help our students out there okay today our students uh, behave uh, behave in a good way thank you very much students for the cooperation and follow the rules okay so mr vino we come to the q and a session now there are few questions asked by our students so we can go one by one are you okay sir okay okay the first question is from okay okay firstly uh, most of students want translate in tamil this class so i think uh, because this is a english class so we need to teach in english okay so most of them are request okay so the first question is normally i am did a mistake in the verb past and present tense has have goes when uh okay please explain sir so on students ask okay when you are doing mistake on the verb and you are writing the sentence in the present tense but not in a past tense but uh, it's is is a mistake because uh, when you see the text uh, it's all in a must be a past tense so you must train yourself to write in a past tense because if you are writing in the present tense it's not connecting with your need of the questions so you must train yourself uh, you remember student all of the students must remember practice writing in the past tense thank you next question okay sir okay so the second question is i can't understand uh, the section a i think most of the student uh, ask this uh, questions they, they really don't understand the section a information transfer so i need to know what the requirement on the section a what they are not understanding because uh, the the easiest part is uh, section a so so i only telling you, you, the students about the common errors only so the students must know how they must understand the must answer the questions so they must be be aware with your spellings and the common errors and also the punctuation 
you should be aware with your punctuation and your spelling handwriting the most important thing is your handwriting okay sir so the next question is uh, sir can i know how to make a sentence uh, i think maybe we can care maybe we can bring the another lesson to how to make the sentence okay okay so i go to the another uh, next questions okay how we write announcement please explain sir okay uh, this this is one i think i left out just now i say on my next lesson maybe i will teach you about announcement so announcement is uh, just like uh, for an example there's a water cut at your place the affected areas are the uh, let's say we say the taman the two tamas there so there's a water cut at your place so affected areas are there so from which time for which time so you want you must write the announcement uh, to the others so how you want to how you want to write about the announcement so this particulars must be in your announcement so you want to write a uh, there will be a water cut uh, at around 2 pm to 6 pm at what date so you write about the announcement okay sir thank you sir dear student don't left the classroom because we will give the link for the quiz so please wait patiently okay so i think last questions from our students okay uh, sir what is the total number of words must be used in the email email writing okay the total number of words uh, must be 50 to 80 words only uh, beyond 80 words uh, 80 to 90 words uh, still can be counted as uh, accepted uh, but uh, after 90 to 120 words uh, we must uh, less we will we will deduct mark for that okay 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 sir so i think uh, the admin can post the link now for the quiz link for the student to answer okay i think uh, got another question sir please explain in the usage of is are and a uh, when to use is uh, this in works many students confuse the is are uh, and a uh. Yeah. Okay. A uh, uh is uh, articles. Uh, when you use uh, uh, when you use when you use the word a uh, and n and the the first time you are using uh, showing some things. For an example, this is a uh, pen. A uh, a uh refers to the pen. The first time is a. Uh. The second time it will be the. So because you already know about the pen. So the pen is blue color. A man is walking. That means a man. You don't know about the man so second time the man the the and a uh is differing like this the second one is is and are uh. is refers to the one thing and are uh refers to a lot of things but the for family family is or are uh. for family is because family is a compound word is a is a one word so is is uh, is the correct answer for this one Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, dear students, uh, the Sudaroli Valayoli team already post the English quiz link. So I think you can get the quiz from the link. Okay, hope you answer. Okay, uh, sir, got one, uh, one more question. I think this is the last question from our students. Okay, how many paragraphs should we write for section B2? Okay, the paragraph is uh, not very important, but uh, it will help you when you get a mark. When you got did a lot of mistakes there but uh, you write in a paragraph that means uh, you are showing the paragraph that means uh, the additional marks is there but uh, i encourage you to write a minimum uh, two to three paragraphs for this section okay sir thank you for your clear and uh, good explanation for our students i think our students uh, really enjoy this lesson and okay sir i want to tell a bit uh, before I left this floor, eh? okay. Uh, thank you for the students and the teachers. I would like to thank the teacher uh, Parimala, teacher Pusparada, Mr. Tanesh Balakrishnan, Mr. Jayagopalan, and uh, Mr. Gunalan, and the teacher Sarala for supporting and guiding me for this section. Okay, uh, students, be aware. I will see you on your next lesson. Thank you for you for the questions that you are asking. Thank you for you to supporting me on this section. Okay, so you may continue. Okay, thank you, Mr. Vino. Okay, fine. 
dear students, now we come to the end of our session. On behalf of Sudaroli Walayoli team, I would like to thank Mr. Vino for spending his time with us and share a useful tips and techniques uh, how to answer the English paper too. Okay, section A and B. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, I'm not forgetting a special thanks go to all our viewers out there, whether in YouTube or Facebook Live, students and teacher, for your participation on today's session. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more live classroom schedule. Okay, stay tuned with us. Stay at home. Stay safe. All right, everyone. See you next. Let's uh, next time. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.